Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. Welcome back to Coinance. This is one of the most valuable regular strike Roosevelt times you'll ever see. 1949, 10 cent piece. In mean state 68 with full bands. This is a formidable rarity for the Roosevelt collector, representing the sole finest certified example seen by PCGS so far. The obverse is painted in rich bands of colorful iridescence that intensify at the right border, showing a blend of teal, violet, and magenta hues. The reverse remains virtually brilliant, save for the slight dusting of olive patina, visible under scrutiny. Perfectly executed and essentially untouched, the present piece simply cannot be improved upon. It is among the very finest survivors of mintage of 30.9 million coins and is ultimate treasure for PCGS register set participant. Sold for $13,200 at Stacks Powers Auction. Here is 1976S Bicentennial Quarter in MS69 condition. Even under magnification, the exquisite preservation of this modern silver clad piece is highly impressive. The subtlest hints of champagne patina are seen over the verse, while the reverse is essentially untoned. Though the net mintage for the 1976S silver clad business strike is speculative, its rarity in MS69 is undeniable. Sold for $19,200 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1999 Susan Anthony dollar struck on a Sacagawea dollar planchette, graded in mean state 64 by PCGS. This is not an SBA dollar struck over an already struck Sacagawea dollar. Rather, the incorrect planchette, one made from manganese brass outer layer or pure copper core, was fed into the press producing this off-metal dollar. Of note is the absence of the normally seen spots that usually accompany Sacagawea dollars. The strike details are remarkably soft in certain areas, especially the eagle's claws and the wreaths. This undoubtedly is from the difference in the two alloys used for each dollar coin. The Susan B. Anthony composed of copper nickel. It was sold for $15,600 in 2019 at Heritage Auctions. This ever popular 1873 Indian scent with attractive toning and doubled liberty, rare choice mean state preservation, a richly original, conditionally rare example of this fabled Indian scent variety. Satiny surfaces are boldly toned in blend of antique copper. Both sides are revealing more vivid cobalt blue undertones that are a bit more pronounced on the obverse. That side of a coin also retains blushes of original rose orange color here and there around the periphery. Smooth and inviting with an overall sharp strike, it was sold for $15,600 at Stax Powers Auction. This is 1946 Roosevelt time in MS68 condition, a Georgia superb gem and semi-unique at the PCGS MS68 grade level. This first year Roosevelt time really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Vivid reddish rose iridescence blankets of verse and yields to a halo of reddish gold peripheral toning on the reverse. The latter side is brilliant in the center, and all areas are basked in intensely lustrous mint frost. Sold for $2,587.50 at Stax Bowers Auction. And this is 1918D Lincoln scent in MS66 red condition, highly sold after specimen for advanced Lincoln scent collector. Both sides retain full vivid mint color and display a remarkably full strike. The surfaces have come down to us without acquiring so much as single. A substantial mintage of over 47 million pieces conceals the rarity of the 1918D in uncirculated condition. Even in lower mint state grades, this issue is relatively scarce, while as a full red gem, it's rare. Sold for $15,600 at Stax Bowers Auction. Thanks for watching guys, for watching more rare coin videos, please support us just by clicking thumbs up and subscribe buttons. Have a nice day. If you have rare available coins, you can post them for sale on our website thecoinas.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinas app, available in Play Market and App Store.